Hi guys, welcome back to the Science Factory. I'm Brian, your host, and today we're going to be learning how to make a really fun science toy that you can craft at home using just a drinking straw, a large skewer, some scissors, and some tape. Now, I like to use masking tape for this experiment instead of clear scotch tape, and the reason is that it holds better when it's exposed to water. All right, now, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the straw. A lot of you probably have bendy straws at home. These are gonna make it a little bit more challenging, but there's a couple of ways that you can deal with a bendy straw. So if you have a straight straw, that's gonna work much better. So for the bendy straws, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just make it straight and then pretend it's not a bendy straw. So in other words, don't bend it. The other thing you can do if you're having a lot of trouble with this later is just cut it off where it bends. So on this one, we've got the bend right there. I would snip it right on this line. I would recommend that you try it first before you cut anything though. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our scissors and cut halfway through the straw at the one third mark and the other one third mark. But make sure you don't cut all the way through the straw. Once you've made those cuts, you should be able to bend the straw into a triangle, just like so. Now, this is a very fast build. Step number two, which is the final step, is just to tape the straw to our skewer. We want to tape the straw so that the tips of the straw are at the bottom of our skewer, like this. When you're finished, it should look like this. The open tips are at the bottom, and the cuts that you made are up here in the corners. You don't need any tape up here at the top, but make sure you've securely fastened the tape at the bottom all the way around so that it doesn't fall apart when it gets wet. All right, so I bet you guys are pretty excited to see this thing in action, but first I gotta give you a couple of quick tips. So first thing is you wanna put your hands on both sides and then move your hands back and forth to make the bottom spin really rapidly. At the same time, try to keep the tip of this under the water just barely. That's what's gonna make this trick work. If you put it all the way down in the water though, you can get the tape wet and your fun might end a little early. All right, enough talk, let's get going. All right, three, two, one. Woo, holy moly, that's a lot of water. Whoa, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? You might be wondering, how does this work? Well, there's a couple of things going on here. First is the capillary effect. Water is attracted to itself, but it's also attracted to a lot of other materials like plastic. And so you might notice when you use a drinking straw in a restaurant that when you put the straw into your cup, the water level inside the straw is a little higher than outside of the straw. That's because of the capillary effect. The narrower the opening of the straw, the higher that water level is going to be because the more the water can pull itself up just with its attraction to the plastic. Now, I don't have any clear straws at home right now, and unfortunately, I'm stuck at home because of quarantine, but we can make the same effect happen by using a paper towel. If you put the tip of the paper towel into the surface of the water, you'll notice that the water continues to climb higher than the surface of the water in the container. This is the capillary effect and the water is going to be able to climb much higher in a paper towel because the spaces that it's occupying are much smaller than they would be in a straw. You might have noticed that the water came all the way up to about here even though the water in the container is all the way down there. And I only dipped it for a couple of seconds. In fact, it's still climbing. The second thing that makes this work is called centripetal force. And that's not actually a force, but we'll go over that in a future video. Centripetal force describes the effects that when you spin something around really fast, any material inside is going to be pushed towards the edges. That's actually how the spin cycle works in your washer. When it spins around at the end of the cycle to try to squeeze out water, it pushes all the clothing up against the drum and drains the water. And it works similar with our straw sprinkler as well. Because the capillary effect is able to bring water up just a little bit, spinning this super fast is going to push that water out towards the edge and then it's gonna to continue to siphon up out of the corners. Go. Wow, that was a lot of water and I wasn't even spinning it very fast because I know how well this trick works. If you do this at home, please don't do it inside. We experienced some filming difficulties and in order to get this uploaded, we had to do this at night and so we did end up doing this inside. 
but make sure you don't do it inside. I don't want you getting in trouble with your parents and this is going to put gallons of water on your floor very quickly, which is why it's fun, but also why you shouldn't do it indoors. It'll get you wet. It'll be a lot of fun. You'll have a great weekend. This thing is awesome. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And until then, I'll see you next time. So I was having dinner with my friend the other day and he was using a straw and I told him he really shouldn't be using a straw. And he said, yeah, I know it's better for the environment if we don't use so many plastic straws. And I said, well, I mean, there's that. And also it's just weird to eat spaghetti with a straw.